I haven't heard a thank you yet. Yeah, we wouldn't invite any old yobbo, you know. That's your dad's way of saying that Sean is growing on him. Well, he's better than the other one, that's for sure. And he must have a brain in his head if he's keen on you. I'm sorry, is that a compliment? We're making an effort here, you know. Plenty of parents wouldn't. I know, Mum, but the caravan, it stinks and it's dead old-fashioned. Rubbish. It's got all mod cons. Yeah, for, like, 1950. I thought you wanted to cook squirrels on a campfire. <laughs> Make your mind up. Two folk really like each other. It won't matter where you are. You could be shacked up in pigsty. Well, they probably wouldn't notice the difference. There's plenty of kids who'd be grateful for an holiday at all, you know. I know that, but Mum and Dad, they are so embarrassing. <laughs> Not as embarrassing as Dan, dressed up in a Smurfs outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think I should ask Sean, then? I don't know. Do you like him? Yeah, I think so. Well, it's not about thinking, is it? It's about how you feel inside. How do you know if you really love someone, Sam? Oh, flipping heck. I, I, I'm not right good at this stuff. But you and Rachel, you only started out as mates. Did it just hit you one day? Yeah, I suppose. I, I'd wake up and she'd be first thing in my head. Yeah, that's it. I think about Sean all the time. We love each other 85%. That's what it says on Love or Meet when you type our names in. And I know that's not real, but that is still really high. 